sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sim and thank you all so much for all the love and support you show me here with i am grateful and you are sweet so today we'll be talking something very important it's about this jewish man who actually has been on a like you know always on black people and all that saying that black people wish that they are jewish and all that they wish that they are they they, they belong and all that and i am saying who is telling you that black people want to be jewish not even for a minute we are black black people run the world and all that and he is saying that they are the real deal and all that that everybody want to be them but unfortunately because they cannot be jewish so black people are so much against him and every other jewish people man the reality is that a black people cannot just support you because it is more like why are black people not so, how do you want black people to support you over what you all are doing and he went ahead to say that jewish people are dope jewish people are these jewish people are, are amazing people dope people and all that that you all criticize like probably black people are criticizing jewish people because they cannot be jewish they cannot be as dope as jewish people are sincerely speaking this man is so right to the system and people are like if it were black people that came out here on the internet to talk about reparations before you know what is going on tiktok will remove that video down but this man has been here putting some some really really nasty things about other people about people that look like me and his videos are still out here standing let's get into this video prove it prove it so many people have left me comments and left other jewish people or pro israel pro jewish people comments saying prove it prove it where is the footage show the footage of the raping and the murder you want to see that you 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 really want to see that i don't think you want to see that if you really want to see that you could surf around the internet and find that kind of sick shit, if that's what you're into but I don't think you really want to see it. I think what you're trying to do to trying to do is minimize or totally deny what actually happened on October 7th because for some sick reason when it comes to Jews, we don't count. We don't count. I don't know why. I don't care why. We know a war is going on. We know that people in Gaza are being killed. There's ramifications of war, a war that was started by the sick pedophilia, necrophiliac rapist from Hamas. But nobody is saying, prove it, show the footage of what's happening in Gaza. We know it's happening. You sick sickos. You want to see that stuff? You need it uh, to be proven to you? Go watch it. But I don't think that's why you keep saying prove it. You're just trying to deny that it actually happened. You fucks you. Cease fire, cease fire. Everybody was calling for a cease fire. Israel gave Hamas those sick necrophiliac, pedophiliac animals a cease fire and they broke the cease fire. They took credit. They took credit for another terrorist attack in broad daylight. They raised their hand and said, yes, we did it and people are still blaming in what is it because what is it because how many excuses are you going to make for these rapists how many excuses are you going to make for these terrorist homicidal sick f we gave them the ceasefire we gave them the ceasefire we've always given them the ceasefire and they continue to break it because the only thing they want the only thing hamas wants is the destruction of any death of all. That's it. That's all they want. That's all they care about. That's the only thing they're into. Get a light. Don't you guys have a hobby or something? Hamas. I'm being clear. Hamas. Don't you guys have, don't you have other interests? Prosperous. Don't you want to be prosperous? Don't you want your people to be prosperous? No. They don't give a about the people of Gaza. The people in America. The people protesting all around the world give more a fuck about the people of Gaza than their own government. Being Jewish is dope. Being Jewish is so dope. Jewish 
people are smart. Jewish people are caring. Jewish people are creative. Jewish people are generous. Jewish people are strong. Jewish, Jewish people are humble. Jewish people are genuine. Jewish people are vivacious, diverse. Jewish people are diverse, tough, brilliant. Being Jewish is dope. Jewish people aren't going anywhere. Israel isn't going anywhere. Michael Rappaport is Islamophobic. Michael Rappaport is Islamophobic. He has been, him alongside Amy Schumer and several other people have been so vocal about their hatred towards Arabs. And I have proof of this. Now, we have let him do his thing with his videos and all the nasty, toxic stuff he's been saying online. But this takes the motherfucking cake. What you see is a picture stolen from Motaz's account. The same Motaz that we all know and love. This photo, in this photo is a bunch of Palestinians that they, that the Israeli military has stripped naked, paraded around the streets of Palestine and Gaza and loaded up into a truck. Now, what does this look like? This look like what's going, what went on in the Holocaust, but a million times worse because it's present day. And guess who decided to post about it? Wishing a happy Hanukkah. Excited about this. About this bar barbaric, savage, uncivilized behavior, which comes as no surprise. Because this man is so disgusting. If you've seen any of his videos, I'm sure you have. I'm sure you have. The second things jumped off on October the 7th, this man could not wait to get on the internet and tell everybody how he hates black and brown people because we don't like him as a comedian. You're not funny. You're not funny. Your career is funny, though. How horribly it tanked. It, it was it was funny that you thought that you was actually going to get somewhere in this world thinking that you're actually funny when you're not. You doing shit like this, posting it on your Instagram, you doing stuff like this and thinking that it's funny is disgusting. It's Islamophobic. And you're the first person to spread them paper thin ass lips and call somebody anti-Semitic. When you yourself are committing crimes against the Semites. Did you not know that Arabs are also Semites? I'm confused. Help me understand if you're not racist and you're not Islamophobic, then what the hell is this? What the hell are those videos, those lives of you calling people the N-word? Yes, we have proof. Yes, we have proof. Yes, we have proof. And this was the cherry on top. This is some disgusting bull crap of you to do. Now, if y'all want to, y'all can go find Michael Rappaport's page and go flood it with olives and Christmas trees. Go flood it with olives, watermelons. Go flood his Instagram and his um, TikTok with olives and watermelons. Because since you wanted a stage and you wanted to be front and center, since you're looking for attention, baby, you gonna get the attention you were looking for. You are an Islamophobic, a racist, a nasty racist. Celebrating this crap. You're disgusting and you should be ashamed of yourself. I would be embarrassed to be related to you. The fact that you thought that this was okay. This is the world that we live in. Where they're not only saying the quiet parts out loud, but they're celebrating it on their made up holidays. Disgusting. Bro, listen, first off, 
this man, first off, TikTok is a very interesting place. How this man could post this video and then not get reported for hate speech or whatever it is. I mean, I can post a video and say two words about reparations and it's the end of the world. And my video gets flagged. But second, come on, Michael Rappaport. We only know you because you ingratiate yourself in black culture. I mean, who, like some of these things these people say are just out of control. Who exactly is he talking about wants to be Jewish? Who? Where do you see Jewish influence in culture, in music, in sports? If anybody has been replicated and mocked, it is black people on the daily. Everybody hates us because they ain't us. And they try to be us every single day. Who tries to be Jewish? And who knew Michael Rappaport was Jewish? He, I just see an older white guy. I mean, I thought that he was just some older white guy that loves black culture. So stop it with that. I mean, now everybody wants to be Jewish. That's your defense. That's your comeback to everything that's happening in the world. They all are. Everybody's upset because they want to be Jewish and they're not Jewish. I mean, it is just reprehensible and beyond, you know, it's just ridiculous that this man is allowed to even say things like this and not get canceled. And it's ridiculous. Who wants to be Jewish? Who? Who, who wants that sort of a life? Who? Who wants to be Jewish? I mean, I think people are more outraged at the humanitarian side of the whole situation. And it's more... It's wrong what's happening to actual human beings. It has nothing to do with anybody desiring to be Jewish and then they're all upset because they're not Jewish. Because I will tell you, our people have been replicated and duplicated and stolen from since the dawn of time. Who steals from Jews? Who? I don't understand what this man is talking about, why he would make this video, why anybody would listen to a video like this, and why he doesn't get reported or blocked or banned or anything. He could just get on here and say anything. And actually, that is not the truth. I don't understand where is the Jewish influence in the world and what is it that we want to, to be bankers, to, to have bigger, you know, margins in the financial community because that's all that the jews really contribute if you perfectly if you ask me and i don't think that that's a, a bad thing to say it's absolutely the truth if anybody wanted to the, black people have torn down doors in every capacity there is absolutely no way in this world that i would want to be jewish and actually if i really wanted to convert to judaism i actually could because it's a religion as well so I, i'm not so sure why this man makes these videos or if he's trying to empower his community i think there's a better way for him to do that go over there to to israel and protest over there and help them out stop hopping on social media and making these false narratives when everybody's been stealing from my people since the, the dawn of time and they still do it today nobody steals from the jews what what cultural appropriation does anybody commit against jewish people none because nobody wants to be jewish except for the jewish people it's ridiculous michael rapaport is the kind of plantation owner who would have no problem getting his hands dirty working right alongside the black people he owned just so he could learn to successfully speak their dialect and steal their music and still tell his white friends that he's a tried and true freedom fighter. The movie buff I am, and just running into all these Michael Rappaport, you know, videos of him being so blatantly racist and ignorant, right? One begins to think, how did he ever get a movie career? Because, like, the movie career ain't career anymore, right? And now that I know how the industry is kind of ringing, I'm wondering if his parents were one of the investors or executives that probably gave Spike Lee funding back in the day and said, hey, put my kid in your movie. Deal. Because there ain't no way he ain't got no kind of talent whatsoever. Like at this point, you're one of us, dude, and you don't even realize you're an everyday smo. Like, the industry ain't effing with you like that. So let's be really for real. All you have is the internet right now. And those who are willing to follow you, you are a washed up actor. And to be 
a washed up ass actor and be so ignorant and racist at the same time. That's what you will be remembered as. That's what you will go down in history as. A washed up ass actor with a racist rhetoric. Have the life you freaking deserve. Block Michael Rappaport. Block him. Just block him. He's spreading so much misinformation. He's like Trump. And now he's making videos saying like, if it was black people, people wouldn't call for a ceasefire. If black people were doing what Israel are doing, yes, the hell they would. As a matter of fact, there wouldn't be money going to these people if they were black people. If it was black people, the U.S. would not send billions of dollars, billions of dollars over. If it was black people, we wouldn't be in this scenario. If it was black people, the world would not care. They would not care. You see what's going on in Congo? The world does not care. Stop putting black people in your fake scenarios. What's actually happening is Israel is killing Palestinian people. It is a genocide. This has nothing to do with being Jewish. Once again, I don't know why we got to keep saying that. Clown. Help but wonder what the hell Michael Rappaport is trying to say by black tar in their blood. It reminds me of a law that many states had in the United States of America in the 20th century called the one drop rule, which basically stated that you were considered a black person if you had one black person in your family tree. It was uh, at the foundation of racism in American society because black Americans were considered, you know, black humans were considered to be evil simply based upon their genetics. That's it. That's the core of racism. And you know, today we look at systemic racism and in policing and and it's easy to dismiss and it's nuanced and complex, but old school racism, which dealt with calling people evil deep down inside their blood, it was easy to point out. I don't know why, you know, that's not considered racist. And I know a lot of you guys are saying that He's talking about terrorists. Well, here's here's the problem that I have with that. I am a veteran. And I've been to Middle Eastern countries. And I've fought terrorists. That's what we do in the U.S. military, whether directly or indirectly. During the global war on terror, that's what we did. And there was no point when I was fighting those very bad people that I thought they're genetically evil. They're evil in their blood. No. They're evil based on their actions and their behaviors and their choices to follow evil organizations like the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. But they weren't evil based on their genetics. They weren't black tar in their blood. Like, what the hell, man? Did you know Israelis, the Israeli people, 60% of them in a recent poll said that they wouldn't live in the same apartment building with someone of a darker skin tone and especially an Arab that's today in 2023 now what would what would we call that if that was happening right here in America what will we label that as Tucker Carlson once said that Middle Eastern people were inherently dirty they stink that's what he said that's what we call racism I've been to the Middle East I've sat down and had drinks with Middle Eastern people. And they are some of the cleanest, most kind, hospitable people there are. So these stereotypes that even Jewish Americans, I've married many, many years ago, I married a Zionist Jewish person who said similar things to what Michael Rappaport is saying. Evil things that entire swaths of people should be unalived. And I know that many Jewish Americans will say, that's what Hamas is saying. Correct. Hamas is evil. It's an evil organization because of its actions, its behaviors, and its choices, not because of its blood. Right now, in Gaza, the death toll is at over 8,000. Hamas is only 20,000 strong, and there are millions in 
Gaza. Just saying I do think there is a thing in humanity where the oppressed can become, can evolve into the oppressor. So this is all I got from this video. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Why is he looking like a cherry? Like, look at his face. Needs a proper clean up and all of that. I mean, this man has just been, I mean, most of, uh, he would do a video and then he would delete it. And probably some people may have grabbed or something like, you know, grab the video and all of that. I am, it's quite unfortunate that this one has been going around making false accusations on black people and all of that. Number one is that black people do not want to be Jewish. I don't understand why he's all over like, black people want to be Jewish and all of that. They want to do Jewish, like how, how exactly? You that is already beg you that is begging black people to come and support you. You all know that this man became really a bit popular because he started doing black thing and you know when black like you know when you kind of try to associate yourself with black people and black people also want to take care like theirs and all that that was just what happened and this man all of a sudden i think proximity to blackness made him think that he has right to call black people out anytime he wants and that tell black people what to do and what not to do number one is that Black people are not supporting any genocide that is going on and they won't support that. And they keep saying, telling you all to stop the evil you all are doing. But he thinks that black people are being mean. That's why he went out to uh, went out to say Jewish people are dope, Jewish people are this, Jewish people are that. We don't care. We still do not care and we are still not going to support you. Leave black people out of your business. And it looks like Zionism is a kind of disease and he's, I don't know, but like, you know, Oh my God, this man, he needs a proper checkup to make sure he's okay because all this red disease thing, he comes out here to spew on the internet and the internet, are like, you know, TikTok is not doing anything about it. Like the other young man said, if it were to be him coming out to say something about reparations, trust, trust me, before you know, before you finish saying it and turn your back, I mean, that, that, that will be taken down, but no. They left him out here and he, he's, he's been here, like, you know, doing all these silly things about people and all that. I mean, there is so many unhinged things. I like, like the other man said, he said, block him. I mean, like, <laughs> just block my garabo board. But then how do I block him? Because I still need to bring, really, I still need to bring news on what is going on for you people and all that. But sincerely speaking, this man has really been on a roll, like, you know, every time or all that. And the fact that so many people are, are out there saying, scream it. I mean, like, encouraging him to, I mean, say what he is saying is just something I really do not understand. He's very unhinged, right to the freak. And when he talks, you all can say, like, you know, that he's so rich to desist. So, seriously speaking, I'm so tired of seeing him all over, trying to drag black people into it and all that. Leave black people alone. And black people are still, no matter how, how you scream it or drag it, they will not support what is going on because it is evil. Leave them alone and uh, let black people be, please. This is all I got from this video. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.